Yan muna Henry, ako ay patuloy pa rin uh, nakaantaway at uh, patuloy kong uh, uh, minomonitor ito at uh, maging ang aking mga kamag-anak ay narito na rin. At kami nag-aantaway nga ng karagdagang mga impormasyon at mga balita na may pagkakalob sa atin ng Sulpicio Lines. Mula po rito sa labas, balikan muna natin si Henry. Thank you. RV Monitor Okay, uh, maraming uh, salamat uh, June, nadinig po ninyo ang ilan sa uh, mga impormasyon na ibinigay sa atin ng ating sa mga June Tanya uh, tungkol po uh, sa uh, paglalayag ng uh, ilang mga pampasaherong barko uh, dito po sa Kapuluan. Samantala mga kaibigan, 35 minutos makalipas ang las 11, magpapakilala po muna tayo ng ating himpilan. Advent, the season of hope. We must believe and we must live in hope that the day will come for every Filipino that the worth and the dignity and the sacredness of every human person is truly recognized and respected. You are listening to DWRV, Dante's Enigmatic Radio World. Veritas, 846, the station that cares. Ang oras po, alas uh, 11.35. Uh, nasa huling bahagi na po tayo ng uh, RV Night Monitor. At uh, ayon po po sa balita na ating uh, natatanggap. Uh, pati po ang uh, yate, uh, ang presidential, presidential yat, ang Pangulo, ay uh, nandun na rin po sa lugar ng pinakyarihan ng aksidente at uh, nakikita na rin sa paghahanap ng mga survivors uh, para po sa naturang uh, disaster. Uh, ito po ay nakarating sa atin at uh, inahayag po ni uh, Ginaong Florentino Morales ng Rescue Coordinating Centers na uh, bukod pa po sa official yat uh, ng Pangulong Aquino ang, ang Pangulo. Uh, nandun din po ang mga military helicopters, planes and commercial ships uh, na naghahanap po sa naturang mga uh, maaring mga survivors. At uh, kaugnay po nito ay uh, meron din tayong natanggap na balita uh, gaya nga po ng sabi ni Lieutenant Commander Cipriano Luzpo na ang pinakahuling message na natanggap nila ay malinis po ang pinangyarihan ng aksidente para pong walang nangyari. Kalma ang tubig, wala pong traces ng uh, mga Uh, uh, langis o kaya yung uh, ilang mga uh, debris man lang uh, nung mga lumubog na mga barko at uh, is, ayon po sa isang US, uh, US Air Force Sergeant who joined in efforts to rescue survivors uh, delays in request for assistance may have hampered the search effort Air Force officials speaking on condition of anonymity, this is a report from the Associated Press, uh, said they did not receive a request for assistance in the search for survivors of the Sunday uh, night collision until about 3 p.m., some 17 hours after the passenger liner Doña Paz collided with the tanker Victor uh, about 110 miles south of Manila. Uh, quote, We were anticipating not for joy, but the chance to do something good, said Staff Sergeant Cliff Davis, who served as a spotter on one of the three HH-3E helicopters sent to the scene. Uh, I think one of the biggest things on the way back was the spe speculations of why we didn't go out until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, why we didn't get the call. So, 
Ayan po ang isang uh, pagpapahayag ng frustration ng isang Air Force team mula po sa Clark Air Base uh, kung saan uh, ayon sa kanila, uh, ibig po nilang tumulong subakit, subalit uh, walang sino mang uh, tumawag sa kanila upang mag-request ng assistance. Uh, well, uh, siguro po ang... Uh, ang uh, ating Coast Guard at ang Philippine Navy ay uh, uh, magagawa ng uh, ganong mga hakbang at uh, kung kaya't uh, uh, pinagpasihan ng mga otoridad na uh, sila na muna ang magtungo sa naturang lugar at uh, tignan kung may survivors at uh, Ito nga po ay uh, isang tanong na ipinaparating ng ilang mga uh, U.S. Navy men and officials uh, tungkol po sa, uh, sa aksidente. Uh, ayon pa po kay uh, Sergeant Davids, uh, sa kanilang pagtulong na ginawa uh, after 3 p.m. ay uh, nakover nila, na nila ang uh, mahigit sa isang daang milya ng uh, karagatan sa naturang area at wala po silang nakita except for maybe a piece of drift food or two. We saw, quote, absolutely nothing as far as a shipwreck, oil spill, signs of life or signs of an accident. There was absolutely nothing. Iyan po ang uh, pahayag ng isang uh, opisyal ng uh, uh, isang tauhan uh, sa US uh, Air Base. Uh, wala po silang uh, nakita kahit ano pa man na tanda ng aksidente. At uh, yan din po ay napakinggan nyo sa pahayag ni uh, Lieutenant Commander Cipriano Luzpo na sa pinakahuling message na nakuha nila. Uh, wala po na mga sinyales na uh, nagkaroon ng ganoong uh, aksidente. Bagabat nagkaroon nga, uh, lumubog na mga ito at lahat ng tanda ng aksidente ay naagos na ng tubig. Uh, so, ito po ay uh, tumataas sa pang mga pangamba na wala ng mga survivors. Bagamat uh, patuloy pa rin po ang efforts ng mga kinakulan upang uh, siguraduhin Uh, kung wala man o mayroon pa uh, mga nakakalangoy o maybe sa ilang mga lugar malayo sa pinangyarihan uh, baka baka uh, pick up pa ng mga survivors at uh, yan po ay malalaman natin na bukas uh, sa ating patuloy na pag-follow up ng uh, naturang aksidente samantala ang naganap pong aksidente eh, kagabi ay uh, uh, ang pinakagrabe sa kasaysayan ng uh, paglalayag sa ating uh, bansa. Uh, matatandaan na natin uh, na kamakilan lamang uh, noong 1981 ay nagkaroon po ng uh, uh, banggaan ang isang inter-island ferry boat ang uh, Don Juan at uh, rather Uh, hindi po banggaan, ngunit mayroong sumabog sa naturang ferry boat uh, MV Don Juan uh, na nanggaling po sa Tagbilaran City at uh, mahigit pong limang uh, daan ang uh, nasawi sa naturang aksidente. Ito po ay noong 1981 at uh, yun po ang tinuturing na pinakagrabing aksidente sa buong uh, uh, kasaysayan ng paglalayag sa Pilipinas. Subalit dumating nga po ito na mahigit sa 1,480 persons ang nawawala pa hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Kung kaya't uh, ito ngayon, hindi lamang sa buong uh, kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, kundi sa buong kasaysayan ng paglalayag sa buong daigdig. Ang aksidente ito ay isa sa pinakagrabe. Uh, ang uh, ilang po sa pinakagrabe na naging uh, aksidente sa larangan ng maritima na uh, sa buong daigdig ay uh, nagsimula pa noong uh, 1904. Noong June 15, 1904, uh, Swedish Liner General Slocum ay nasunog po sa may port of New York na uh, kinamatay ng mahigit sa isang libo at dalawampung katao. Samantarang noong 1912, ang British White Star Liner Titanic, yung pong uh, isa sa mga kwento na uh, pinagkwento pa hanggang ngayon ang pagkakalubog ng isang malaking barko na tinataya 
na hindi kayang uh, uh, banggain ng anumang barko o kaya ay uh, hindi magkakaroon ng anumang pangyayari na ito ay uh, lulubog. Subalit sa magitan lamang uh, ng isang iceberg ay uh, nakabangga lamang ang isang iceberg at ito ay lumubog na at uh, ang namatay po ay mahigit na isang libo at apat na raan at siyam na pong katao 1,490 so uh, sampung katao lamang na mas marami kesa sa ngayon ano po uh, ito po ay nung 1912 uh, ang paglulubog uh, ng Titanic uh, dun po sa may North Atlantic on its maiden voyage Noong 1914, May 28, 1914, isang Canadian Pacific Line, ang Empress of Ireland, ang lumubog matapos pong bumangga ito sa isang Norwegian uh, collier. At uh, mahigit pong isang libo, tatlong daan at pitong pong katao ang namatay, 1,370 dead. May 28, 1914. May 6, 1915, ang British liner Louisiana ay uh, ito po ay sa panahon ng unang digmaang pangdaigdig he torpedoed off the Irish coast by a German submarine ang namatay po mahigit na isang libo, isang daan at siyam na putwalong katao 1,198 victims uh, died on that incident wherein the British liner Louisiana was tor torpedoed by a German submarine. December 6, 1917, a French ammunition ship, the Mont Blanc, rose up after colliding with a Belgian ship, uh, the Imo, in the port of Halifax, Canada. 1,600 people, mainly townspeople, are killed in a city, and the city is flattened. Uh, ito po, ang uh, naturang uh, uh, collision ng uh, Belgian ship at uh, Mont Blanc, isa pong Canadian uh, ammunition ship, ay ang pinakagrabe as of date na uh, aksidente sa larangan ng uh, maritima, maritime uh, history sa buong daigdig, 1,600 po ang namatay dito at uh, marami po rito ay yung mga Uh, townspeople ika nga uh, yung mga nandun sa kabayanan ng Halifax na nadamay po sa pagsabog ng French ammunition ship na ito September 26, 1954 a Japanese ferry the Toya Maru sinks in the Trugaru Strait death toll is 1,170 so kung ating uh, isusuma ang uh, nangyari po kagabi ay pangatlo sa pinakagrabing mga naging aksidente sa buong daigdig. Ang uh, oras po, labing apat na minuto bago sumapit ang uh, alas dose ng hating gabi, isa po munang paalala. UNICEF cards have a tradition. They greet your friends and save children's lives. UNICEF cards help provide good health, nutrition, and education for Filipino children. Send UNICEF cards and help make better lives. Available at UNICEF Card World, Neda Building, Amosola Street, Legaspi Village, and at selected outlets. Or call telephone numbers 865441 or 850612. Alam ba ninyong sa lahat ng mga ibon ay ang ostrich ang nagbibigay ng pinakmalaking itlog? Ang itlog ng ostrich ay tumitimbang ng kulang-kulang na dalawang kilo. Para sa mga kaalamang hindi pa napapakinggan, ating tandaan, unlad ugnayan, sumasahim pa bawid tuwing alas 5.30 hanggang alas 6 ng umaga. Lunes hanggang Sabado dito sa Radio Dante's Enigmatic World. Unlad ugnayan, alas 5.30 hanggang alas 6 ng umaga. Night Monitor 
labing dalawang minuto bago po sumapit ang alas 12 ng uh, ating gabi at uh, meron po tayong kaugnayan ngayon sa telepono. Hello? Magandang gabi po. Good evening. Uh, sino po sila? Ito po si... <coughs> Ramon Esperas, no? Ramon Esperas. Apo, ano po ang sa atin, uh, Mr. Esperas? <coughs> Ay... May telegrama kasi yung sister ko sa why, uh, husband niya, no? Dito? Mm -hmm. uh, galing po saan? Uh, sa Katbalogan. Katbalogan, Samar. Uh -huh. uh, uh, <coughs> uh, they will be taking uh, the Donya Pass. Mm -hmm. Yung... Uh, supposed to be yung uh, oh, sister niyo. Yung nabangga. Uh, yung uh, husband ng sister niyo. Uh, papasalubong sila at apat silang pasero. Uh -huh. Ang mga pangalan ay Erlinda. Erlinda. Esperas Oikoke. Uh -huh. Yung isang daughter, no? Apo. Youngest daughter. Sige po, go ahead. Jeneline uh -huh. Esperas Oikoke. Uh, Tumasa Moron mm -hmm. at saka Johnny Moron mm -hmm. yung, yung apat na yun ng pasahero uh -huh. sana hindi na sila nakasakay dahil overloaded ngayon, uh, baka sakaling nakikinig sila ngayon uh, sa Katbalogan Samar Opo. Uh, kung uh, mayroong uh, man, man, uh, mga kadinig sa uh, panawagan nyo ay eh, uh, kung hindi man sila nakasakay sana magpadala ng telegrama Opo. No? Uh, uh, dahil uh, ika, ika nyo nga kanina eh, medyo baka sana na discourage dahil overloaded no? uh, Anyway, uh, keep posted. Uh, patuloy po namin inalam, uh, lalo na po siguro bukas na po siguro yung uh, yung manifest, uh, passenger manifest uh, at malalaman natin kung uh, nandoon ang uh, inyong kamag-anak. Opo. Okay, maraming uh, salamat po. Uh, hello. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, can I add some more? Okay, go ahead. Yung kung just in case uh, may may news tungkol dito, mayroon din kami telepono. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, kukunin na lang natin off air, no? Okay. Ah, uh, wag mo lang mababa. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, ah, uh, 'yan po ang uh, isa sa ating uh, mga callers, uh, partnering po ng public service ng uh, RV Night uh, Monitor. At uh, ito pong isang ulat uh, mula sa Associated Press. Uh, ang sabi po rito, Philippine ferries notorious for overloading. Uh, ngayon po sa kanilang report, uh, Associated Press, Sunday's collision between a domestic uh, passenger ship and an oil tanker in which some 1,500 people were feared dead illustrates what for years has been the bane of Philippine shipping, overloading. It is the same story every time disasters strike in Philippine seas. No one knows on how many people die or survive because no one knows how many are aboard the distressed vessel. Estimates of the number of people aboard the 2,215-ton Doña Pass, which sank along with the tanker Victor after they collided, ranged from 1,500 to some 3,000. Only 26 people are known to have survived the disaster, 24 from the passenger ship and 2 from the tanker. In a country where plane fares are beyond the pocket books of most people, ferry boats are the most popular mode of transport among the country's 7,000 islands. Even if the ships were not overloaded, accounting for people aboard when disasters strike is nearly impossible. Only the bigger shipping companies manifest passengers, but never all the passengers. Those who buy tickets on board are rarely included in manifests. Under a system where prior reservations are no guarantee to finding a cot aboard, most passengers during peak seasons like Christmas simply board vessels without tickets, knowing that purchasers will collect their fares later out at sea. In 1981, fire and explosions ripped through the ferry Don Juan an hour later, it left Manila on a run to Panay Island. The ship owners said the vessel, which had a passenger capacity of 700, carried 51 crewmen and 378 passengers. 
18 hours later, 13 bodies had been fished out of Manila Bay and 397 people rescued. Officials said up to 90 more people were missing, at least five of the dead were children not on the manifest. Safety laws are not wanting. Cause Coast Guard officials are required by law to inspect ships to make sure there is no overloading and that all passengers are manifested. Invariably, after every disaster, officials announce measures to reform shipping practices only to find out when disaster strikes a new that they were never implemented. Yan po ang isang write-up mula po sa Associated Press. Uh, ito po ay tungkol sa uh, mga nangyayari na tuwing nagkakaroon ng mga ganitong aksidente, natatagpuan po na ang mga pas passenger ships na ito ay pawang mga overloaded. Uh, marami na pong mga uh, maritime accidents ang uh, naganap ngunit uh, at marami na rin mga hakbang na ipinatupad tungo po sa pag-reform ng mga uh, ganitong mga kamalian. Subalit, uh, ayun nga po dito sa write-up na ito, ay uh, twing may disaster, ganun ang ganun ang nagiging kalabasan, ang overloading ng mga barko. Meron na, na lang po tayong anim na minuto makalipas, o oh, bago sumapit, ang uh, alas 12 ng uh, hating gabi. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, this is uh, Radio Canada. Hello? Hi, uh, is that in the Philippines? Uh, yes, uh, we are on the air now uh, over Radio Veritas. And uh, we are uh, covering the events uh, uh, regarding the sinking of uh, the two ships. Oh, I see. Uh, I understand you're from New Zealand. Yes, I'm ringing from New Zealand. Um, we were hoping to get something on the sinking for our radio news over here. Yes, uh, the latest we have is that uh, uh, one Coast Guard spokesman, uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander Cipriano Luspo, uh, has informed us uh, that uh, aside from the 26 uh, survivors initially picked up by uh, commercial ships earlier, uh, there are no other survivors. So that means about uh, 1,500 people are still uh, missing uh, up to this time. Can I just transfer you to our audio phone? Okay. Thank you. Yan po ang uh, uh, pakibagunayan pa rin sa atin ng New Zealand. Kanina po ay nakausap natin ng Radio Cuba at uh, tumawag din sa atin ng Radio Australia at uh, ganun din ang Radio Canada tungkol po sa nangyari dito uh, sa uh, disaster na ito at ang buong daigdig po ay interesado uh, sa naturang uh, pangyayari. At uh, uh, inaasahan po natin na uh, gaya po ng mga uh, nagaganap, uh, malaki ng mga nagaganap dito sa buong sa at sa ating bansa ay nagsisitawagan po sa atin ang uh, mga iba't bang radio stations sa buong daigdig. Uh, hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, hi. Um, first of all, I understand that um, some survivors say the, they could have been up to 3,000 people on board the um, ferry when it sunk. Yes, it is possible that uh, it might be up to 3,000 people were on board at the time of, uh, of uh, accident. Uh, but uh, we have talked to one of the officials of the shipping company uh, that uh, had sunk uh, some fishing lines. And uh, one uh, port captain said that uh, it is just uh, in speculations and speculation uh, that uh, there were over uh, about 3,000 passengers on board. Uh, he insisted that uh, it may be uh, overloaded a bit, but not that much. Uh, actually, the, the ship uh, uh, can carry up to about uh, 1,000 to uh, rather 1,500 passengers. And uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, we're still verifying the, this uh, report that uh, the ship was overloaded at the time. Uh, we have received reports uh, that uh, uh, rescue search and rescue teams, uh, 
that had gone to the area uh, saw absolutely nothing, uh, uh, no traces at all of uh, the shipwrecks and uh, no signs of life uh, whatsoever. Uh, so this is the latest uh, information we have, uh, increasing fears that uh, there are no more survivors uh, in the accident. Yes, hello? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Um, so what, what does this mean? Um, up to what, 2,000, 1,500 people might be dead? Yes, uh, authorities now fear that uh, around 1,000, officially, uh, I think there are about uh, 1,480 passengers uh, uh, reported to be on board the passenger ship uh, at the time of the accident. Uh, uh, but uh, speculations persist uh, that there are over 3,000 people on board uh, uh, the ship uh, when the accident occurred. Uh, we are still uh, getting more information on this, and uh, we are still in the process in the process of uh, confirming this report. Um, what's the mood like in Manila at the moment? It must be it's been described as the worst tragedy since the Titanic went down. Yes, it is uh, the worst tra tragedy in uh, Philippine maritime history, and I think uh, one of the worst in the world's uh, maritime history. And uh, as of now, a lot, a lot of people, lots of people, uh, uh, are calling us up, uh, inquiring about the passenger manifest. Maybe their relatives were on board. Uh, maybe uh, their friends were on board at the time. Uh, but uh, the thing is. Uh, uh, authorities uh, haven't uh, received the uh, passenger manifest. So, uh, but uh, one official, one uh, shipping official, has uh, promised us, Radio Veritas, that uh, uh, the passenger manifest will be available tomorrow morning. So, I think tomorrow morning we'll be able to answer these queries. Okay. Uh huh. And um, one final question: Have you actually been out? to the scene yourself? Pardon, pardon? Have you actually been out on the water yourself to uh, have a look at the scene or have there been pictures of the scene on TV or anything like that? Now we have talked to some survivors, uh, some eyewitness uh, reports, uh, uh, but we haven't gone to the area uh, yet. Uh, but we have talked to some of the survivors and they have pictured us uh, to us uh, more or less uh, what really happened uh, during uh, when the accident collision occurred. What, are they, what, are, what sort of things have they actually been saying? Uh, 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 who's this, please? Hello? Are you there? Yes, Hello. yes. Uh, may I know your name, please? Oh, Peter Richardson. Uh, Peter. Uh, Peter, just give me a, mo uh, a moment, no? I'll just uh, have to sign off <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you after 30 seconds, okay? Okay. Okay. So mga kaibigan, uh, habang uh, binibigyan po natin ng uh, kakulang informasyon, ang uh, ilang mga uh, radio stations ay uh, pansamantala po magpapaalam, ang RV Night Monitor, sa ngalan po ni na June Tanya, Uh, Bong Orlina mula po si Newsroom, Paul Digia Cagiat, si Manny Conte, si Peter Dugang, at uh, iba pa po nating mga kasamahan. Uh, dito po sa RV Night Monitor, Henry Umaga Diaz po. Magandang uh, gabi po. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Advent, the season of hope. We must believe and we must live in hope that the day will come for every Filipino that the worth and the dignity and the sacredness of every human person is truly recognized and respected. You are listening to DWRD. Dante's Enigmatic Radio World. Radio 846, the station that cares.
been listening to DWRV Dante's Radio Veritas, 846 kilohertz. DWRV Radio Dante's Veritas is owned and operated by the Philippine Radio Educational and Information Center, Incorporated, with license number BC-122-81. To expire on December 31st, 1988, as authorized by the National Telecommunication Commission, Department of Public Works, Transportation and Communication, Republic of the Philippines. DWRV Radio Veritas, operates from 5 o'clock in the morning with a power of 50,000 watts on a frequency of 846 kHz. Our studios are located at Fairview Park, Quezon City, and are transmitted at Aquila Malolos Bulacan. Dante's is operated and maintained by the following personnel. Engineer Florimundo Kiguchi, ECE-52, First Class Radio Telephone Operators, Placido Ancheta, Crisanto Borja, Virgilio Capal, Gerardo Cruz, Antonio Medina, Felito Pasqua, Edwin Payabiab, Honorato Almoros, and Modesto Dante's Visto. Dante's enigmatic Radio world. Veritas is now signing off to resume transmission this morning at 5 o'clock. Good night and God bless us all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem.